Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I did Jarrell Jones on the next one. And, uh, okay. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end. Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm about to go get my hair braided up. So I'm in Long Island. I'm still at Mermaid's house. You know, we ditched Brooklyn in April. It's now July 6th. And New York is just entering stage three. So beauty salons, nail salons, everything like that is open. So... I'm about to go to Brooklyn to get my hair braided. Um, Mermaid's little cousin Isis is taking me because Mermaid had to go to work today. I also have a job interview at 1 p.m. So my hairstylist is probably gonna want a break anyway. So I'm gonna just let her know like, oh my God, my job is gonna be calling me at one. I have to like be on a meeting, I have to be on a call. So I have like my laptop and stuff here with me to come to Brooklyn. Um, I do have hotspot on my phone, so if I do need to use the hotspot, I can. It's just about time to go. She said, we, I said we're leaving at 8.10. It's 8.05. So, come on. Let's go to Brooklyn. Hey, y'all. So, I'm in the car with Isis. <laughs> Say hey to the people, Isis. Uh, hi. <laughs> so, what time, what, what time did you tell me we were going to leave Eight. yesterday? 8.10. So yesterday we were going to be leaving at 8, and then today, this morning, after I woke her up at 7.30, because I thought Isis was on her walk, she told me she was going to get up at 6.30 and take a walk. My run usually around 6.30 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Isis runs like 3 to 4 miles a day. Inspiration, inspire the girls. But yeah, what time do we leave Isis? <laughs> 8.20? Yeah, absolutely, we left at 8.20. That's just for the record, girls. So I just had to let the girls know. But yeah, I just wanted that to be for the record so that when I get to the shop, and Yolanda is like, cussing me out like, where were you at? I just wanted this for the record. But yeah, y'all, so I got me a banana and some crackers. Yeah, I got water, bananas, and some crackers. Sorry, I'll bring you some food at the shop too. Oh my god, no, for real, for real. Oh, for real. Can you have me there? We're just on our way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. I'm, I'm gonna check it with y'all around like 8:50 or when we get to Brooklyn. Let's do a time check. Let's do a check it. All right. I get some bands and I get some bands in my little baby. Yeah. I get some bands and I get some bands in my little baby. All right, y'all. So we're in Brooklyn and Isis got me here on time. Got me here on time. She actually did it. Surprised me, but we got here at 9 o'clock. But my hairstylist is late. So my hairstylist won't be at the shop until 9.30. So I just went to Dollar Jarrell because I forgot to leave the house with a mask. It's the reality that we live in now. Like, <laughs> you grab everything before you leave the house. You're like, oh my God, I forgot my mask. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, I just do you have like an extra mask or a mask in here I can use to go in the store? Because you can't go into a store to buy a mask unless you have a mask on. There's that dilemma. I was able to get two disposable masks, which I really do like the disposable one. Then I got me some Tylenol because I already know my head is about to hurt. I'm super tender headed. My hair hurts from that right now. My hair, so I already know it's about to take care of me. I'm also going to go into the hair store to uh, get the actual braiding hair for my braids. So, but we in Brooklyn, y'all. Got a show. Isis has stopped in the middle of the street to get some braiding hair out of her trunk that she thinks I'm gonna use, and I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna use it. And she's, we're literally at a red light in, light in the middle of traffic, y'all. Isis is a y'all. I'm telling y'all. See, that should be enough. Isis is a funny girl. This is the expression there. This is exactly the hair we're doing. But I still need a whole nother packet of sweetie. And Mermaid needs some hair too for her braids. I love her shape. Isis be paying it. All right, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to the hair salon. Okay, okay. That's the next stop. I am here now. I've already been in here and it's only me in the hairstylist here, so that's why I don't have a mask. I'm excited. I get some bands and I get some bands and my little baby. Face up and drip it down to go wherever, yeah. Say the word and we take trips on with whatever, yeah. Yeah, 
Hi, Ying. So I fixed the light issue from earlier. I realized why I look like um, Eve. Have you seen Eve lately? Eve with the paws? Mm -mm. She's bleaching. But either way, the reason I'm over Eve is because I'm just over shit at this point. Because my hair's not done. And I'm hungry. I could go on and on and on and on and on, but I mean, then the vlog would be an hour long. I could start from the morning till now, but no. I'm just going to go with the overall senses of my day turned it when I left the shop without my hair being So now, I'm going to go to Popeye's and get some food so that I can lose this attitude and wake up in the morning and get my hair done and go on about my business, you know? But yeah. I was hoping to show you all some shit at this point, but it's nothing to fucking show you. <laughs> nothing to show you. Stick with me till tomorrow. It's gonna be, you know, same old, same old. Good morning, you all. Today is Tuesday. It's 7.15. I'm well rested and I've eaten, so my attitude is gone. And I don't feel like a Sour Patch Kid anymore. I'm more so just excited to go finish getting my hair done. So last night, I stayed over at uh, Mermaid's aunt's house. Because the key is her little cousin went to Mermaid's house. So she wasn't here, so we stayed in her room. So that's where I'm at right now. My hairdresser told me to be at the shop at 8. My hairstylist just texted me and said, hey, I'm on the way. Yeah, so I just told her I should be there in like 15, 20 minutes to talk to y'all when I... Probably walk to the shop. Say hey, Yolanda. Yes. Yes. This is cute two piece Yolanda has on today. Wow. Okay, wow. Got, got the body out in Brooklyn. Trying. <laughs> Mermaid is probably gonna be on her way, if not now, in like an hour. She be done with work and the girls will be ready to go. Okay. left the shop because I was so tired when I talked to you all last night. We left the shop at like 12.45. Got back to Long Island like one something. And the girls was tired so I put my hair up in a bonnet and I ate the rest of my Popeyes from the other night and went to sleep. But as y'all can see, my hair is like crinkly. And I don't want that. Like I don't want a crinkly. See? It's like kind of crinkled. Just the way Yolanda has styled them yesterday. She put them in the two buns at the top. And when the braids dry, the ends got crinkly. But I'm just about to redo my braids. I was like almost about to do it and not show you. I'm like, hold on, I gotta show the vlog. Cause somebody might not know what the tea is. I used to do my best friend's braids in high school and college all the time. 
turn the water off first. Don't just set your hair on fire. That makes me happy. I'm gonna talk to you in a minute. But I'm probably about to peel like an orange or something set outside. I might make a smoothie, I don't know. Today's Thursday, so I have my show today, Legendary Breakdown. I host an after show for the show Legendary on HBO Max, which is like a ballroom competition show, but it's set up like a dance competition show. I just found out that they dropped the season finale today, and they were supposed to only be dropping the semifinals, not the season finale. So me being the host of the show, my morning is great. I feel amazing. I'm definitely going in the pool because I need to freaking relax because now I'm a little hot. Um... Nobody knew that they were dropping two episodes on one day. And HBO has been sending me screeners, allowing me to watch all of the episodes before they come out so that I can book guests for the after show because the day each episode premieres, I do the after show at 9 p.m. at night. So it gives everybody from 12 a.m. or 3 a.m., depending on where you are, all the way until 9 p.m., which virtually gives you the same amount of time because it would be 6 p.m. at uh, Pacific time. So Eastern Standard Time at 9, 9 p.m., I host an after show, and we basically break down the episode. I talk to the cast members, da-da-da-da-da. So this week, I was trying to figure out what was taking HBO so long to send me my screener and come to find out they sent the screener, but they didn't tell us that two episodes were coming out today. So I guess the finale, the because I saw the semifinals before. The, the semifinals were supposed to come on today. I always knew that. I booked my guests. My, we had the promo and everything. Boom. That just went out. And then I see my producers are like, oh, OMG, HBO didn't even tell us that two episodes come out today, not just one. So I guess now the finale episode is finally available or whatever. So I'm here to have to like get in the shower, watch that, figure out how I'm going to do the show tonight, which is going to work out. But then I've been waiting on a, certain, a specific package for a very, very, very long time. It's finally here. I was waiting on some hair. I got one 4x4 four 16-inch four, lace closure, one, 26, one bundle of 26, one bundle of 28, two bundles of 30. Oh, it feels so good. This is exactly the texture I wanted. Exactly. A very natural wave. A very natural wave. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, now I just have to wait on my wig head so I can make the wig on. I already ordered like my wig strap, like for the strap of the wig, cause it's a closure. I mean, not ordered, I got the wig strap from the hair store. I also got the wig cap that I need to make the wig on as well. So I have everything I need. I already have sewing needles, already, I really ha already have everything to make a wig, but I wanted this wig to be perfect. So I, I knew, like I went with, I went in the caps of the wigs that I like the most. And I was like, okay, so I know exactly what I want to get. And yeah, so I am going to get in the shower though really quickly. And then I have to watch Legendary now. Like I have to watch it right now. So I'm going to hurry and get in the shower, watch that, try to get at least like one or two more people on this show tonight, relax in the pool for a bit, and just relax. I need to relax. It's getting hot outside, so. Hey y'all, so like I said, I'm about to get in the pool in a bun so I can just get in the shower we in a pool. I've been out here talking on the phone with my best friends and I got hot as hell. So I took some pictures that if you want to see you can follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube channel. And yeah I'm about to just chillax and figure out what I'm gonna do with this show like I told y'all earlier. So go watch the finale episode now. We're gonna talk about it. Wake up see the sky see the clouds amongst the sun See the day for everything it could be Stop treading on that snooze button, run Open your eyes and see everything it was And is and will be all at once See the truth, don't hide from others' love Bask inside that 
alarm clock buzz We metaphysical Good morning you all So what's today? Today's Friday No y'all I gotta tell y'all real quick I woke up and gagged But I gotta tell the story with Mermaid So I was just outside with Mermaid helping her clean the gutter So I'm about to take this story time out Okay So Alright Say hey Mermaid <laughs> no, I had to tell the story about how I woke up, but I'm like, I can't tell it without mermaid. I woke up very disturbed and scared, y'all. Yeah. I was yeah. gagging. I like jumped. I thought she was up already. I thought she was just peeing, like, just trying to make sure I was up. Mm mm. Okay. Mermaid was thinking I was jumping up because, like, I was up, I was keying, like, oh, girl. Mm mm. I was knocked out sleep. And like, you know when you have such an intense dream, like you just feel some breathing deep. You just feel like you're just going through a lot in your dream. Honey, I was arguing down in my dream. I remember it vividly. I'm not gonna give y'all the tea. But I know exactly what I was arguing with. I know exactly what we was arguing over. It was definitely freaking ridiculous. But I know why the, I know why the dream happened, but that's still no excuse. I woke up out of my dream like I was in a movie like, <gasps> But I, I woke up screaming like, no! Like, that's crazy. I literally woke up screaming, no! It was wild. So that's where, that's where we're at. <laughs> that's where we're at. All right, so it's raining. We just ran the errands. Well, ran one errand. We got everything that we needed in one stop shop, which was fab. Oh, we put our bonnets on, it was given. I'm not getting my braids with, even though it's probably not gonna do nothing, because that's the reason you get braids, but still, they're too fresh. They're super fresh. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like people like the real shit. That's the Jeep's name. That's Mermaid's yeah, Jeep's that's name. Sorry. Right. Now we're headed back to the house to just chill, relax, and just have a great day. It's humid though, so yeah. this is going to be tricky. <laughs> Alright, we're about to do these groceries. Yeah, at that point, you're out. We're done. I'm done. You're out of it. Sister. So we are about to eat Forget breakfast. I'm over here. Mm -hmm. I'm over here. Mm -hmm. Work. Oh yes, I can feel honey. I'm gonna tell you. Butter. That's all you want with the. Mm-hmm. You want cheese on it? Mm. Or cream cheese on it or yeah. anything? Mm -hmm. I don't eat cream cheese. Butter and cream cheese? No, I mean like in case. Oh, instead, of instead of the butter. Look at the. Look at the what? Isis. Look at the what? This is the what? What is this? What do we call this, Isis? The aesthetic. Yes, the aesthetic. I don't know if it's really aesthetically pleasing. You gotta get the perfect plate. Oh, wow. <laughs> so my plate is not aesthetic. You got it. My okay. plate is not either. <laughs> Lord have mercy, girl. That's so your good for us. raining and it's like carrying outside if y'all can hear like if y'all hear background noise it's the rain outside this is a vlog not an instructional video so if you want clean audio to tell you if somebody tell you how to make a wig yeah i'm not the girl for you girl it's raining today so i'm just making a wig but this is the hair i got it for from our not or naughty swan that's o-r-n-a-t-i space swan s-w-a-n you can type that in online and you'll find it um you can also type that in on instagram you'll find it so, oh, this looks so amazing. This is just the natural. I'm not even gonna put my hands through it because I don't want, I want the hair to stay as still as it can. But right now I'm looking to see if these knots are bleached. These knots are not bleached. Those are the knots. Those are the knots. So, if you don't want it to look, this is how your lace can go wrong very fast. When people don't bleach their knots, it just looks like hair coming off of a lace. It doesn't like the, the whole imitation scalp thing with the, with the ball cap and all of that. If you don't bleach your knots, you can pay all of that because it won't look like you wear a wig anyway.
105 in the morning and I just finished this wig that's the tea but here is she I, ha I don't have a name for her yet but she is nice and full I don't see any tracks this is scalp right here I don't see any tracks Ugh, this hair is so long the closure kind of blends with the hair I still want to get some 26 I feel like the 28 is coming down here and the closure is up here so I need, still need to get a bundle of 26 and fit it in here somehow. So if you look in here too, the lace is just sewn on really well. That's the lace right there. And then you can see what I meant by my knots being bleached. This wig at its longest inch is 30 inches. Two bundles of 30, two bundles of 28, and a closure that is only 20 inches long. I wish that closures came longer, but they really don't. I love plucking hair. That's like one of my favorite things to do. I pluck every you now I get. See how much hair comes out? I'm really plucking the hair. My index finger hurts so bad because I stabbed it so many times. It's just red and numb. I am really that girl when it comes to doing my own hair. You see I said my own.